Good afternoon and welcome to my drive home. I got off work, headed home to have a little lunch, thought I would turn on the camera. Sorry for the glasses, but it's kind of sunny out there. So I had a story I wanted to tell about how God can work even in little things in our lives if we're just looking for them and if we recognize them for what they are. So my daughter and I are taking a trip at the end of December and I was looking for airline flights and it was really expensive, like going to be almost a thousand dollars for the two of us to fly. Driving was out of the question. It would have been a two day drive plus a hotel stay. So that was not an option. And so I came, went into work last Wednesday and the cleaning crew was there. The cleaning ladies were there. And so I just, they come once a month and I asked one of them, how you been? What's going on? Anything fun coming up? And she told me that she and her sister were taking a trip to the same place my daughter and I are going. And so I asked her, I said, oh, have you found any good deals on flights? Because it is so expensive. And she said, yeah, actually, we had a really good deal with, um, through Allegiant. And I'd never flown Allegiant before, but my mom has. And I completely forgot about them. And so I got home and I checked flights and it was $400 cheaper to fly Allegiant than the ones that I was checking. And so I booked our flights and it was just, thank you God, because what were the odds that this woman and her sister were going to the exact place that I needed to go and that I would ask her about what she was going to be doing coming up it, it was just like God just saying yes I care about you and I'm going to help with this one thing and if I weren't and I know a lot of people say oh well it was just you know coincidence or luck or whatever but no it wasn't coincidence it was a God incidence and so I just wanted to encourage you to be on the lookout for things like that in your life because Sometimes, when things seem impossible, God makes a way for things to, for it to happen. And we were going to go on this trip regardless. It's an incredible opportunity for my daughter. And so it was going to happen. But now it's going to happen for less. And I was just really, really grateful. I wanted to share that with you guys. And so this is going to be... Um, so I guess this is super short, but I know that this turn on the camera kind of style of video is kind of taking the internet by storm, kind of old school YouTube, and it seems to be that there's this kind of tale of two YouTubes right now. There's the scripted, polished, edited, fancy thumbnail. This is such a pretty thing right through here. I'm going to turn it around. Look at those pretty trees. Just take a second. Enjoy that. Sorry about the camera mount that you can see. I've got it pretty tight on there so it doesn't wiggle around and I can't move it while I'm driving. But this is just a really pretty spot. Wish I could see. Wish I... Won't be long and the leaves will have fallen and it'll be gray and brown and winter setting in. But considering it's the end of October, it's 80 degrees today, which feels just kind of weird. Although, I'm not really one for the cold, so as far as I'm concerned, bring on a little global warming. Um, <laughs> if it means that I don't have to bundle up and freeze my face, I, I'm not opposed. Anyway, so this, this kind of random off the cuff, I did one of these last week when I was waiting for rehearsal. Speaking of rehearsal, I do have a cracker rehearsal tonight, not for myself, but it's the Mice and Rat King tonight, and so I get to meet my mice and teach them their, their combination and the, their part of the battle, so that should be fun. And, um, oh, in the, in the vein of show up and do the thing, we were talking past Nutcracker, um, memories with some people who were new to the Nutcracker, and we do this every three years at our theater. And last year, this is my third time, I think, 
choreographing the battle. I've helped with other things, but I think this is my third time with the battle. Anyway, last year, our Rat King got COVID right before the first performance. And because I had choreographed the battle scene, I was the most likely candidate to step in. I'd never done the choreography for the battle itself, the sword fight. Um, yes, I knew where the entrances were and generally what was supposed to be done, but I'd never done it. And the Rat King mask is this mask that goes over your whole face and it's really hard to see out of. I was in like size 10 men's, <laughs> size 10 slippers. It was hard to walk and my mice just kind of had to leave me around because otherwise I was afraid I was going to fall off the stage. But, um, and I had, was also a party mom and the battle happens pretty quick after the party ends. So it was also a quick change into the Rat King's first entrance. And it was ended up being really fun. I was, a, I was very nervous about it, but it ended up being so fun. And it is such a fun memory to talk about, especially with my mice who are now three years older and you know, about how they had to lead me around and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, and the soldiers also were kind of helping direct me so that I didn't like, you know, go into the wrong spot or take somebody's head off with my battle ax accidentally. But, um, so yeah, it was just a funny memory we were talking about the other day. I thought I'd share it with you. I am almost home, so I will talk to you guys later and you all have a, and you all have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye-bye.